All right, it's his seven remake, and now that we've teamed up with a certain Aerith Gainsborough, which, funny enough, is an actual place here in the UK, we're now going to try and get out of the shithole that was where the, we really encountered the rooftops earlier. Yes. If you recall in the last part, several Kingdom Hearts fans' interpretation of Aerith was shattered, and they had a collective heart attack upon hearing her swear. Like I said, and, Jova, even, and maybe even the OG those... games fans, because uh, this is even further than her OG personality. Even. Yeah, but let's be honest, yeah. it was mainly the Kingdom Hearts fans because they have only known her to be pure. Like, at least, for the most part, there were a good portion of OG doesn't, fans who knew doesn't that. Doesn't help that even in, your, in the rest of the compilation, over compilation appears, mainly the flashback scenes of having children, and uh, uh, her role in Crisis Core, she does maintain the pure saint approach. Yeah. Alright, let's, um, let's see what, how I managed to upgrade her special... Basically, folks, and... here's your guide for typical things when it comes to notions you may have had from the 7 compilation. No, Sephiroth's sword was not always as long as a house. No, Cloud was not always a mopey whiner. No, Aerith was not nothing but pure. Ooh, a hedgehog pie. But yes, Cloud always has spiky hair. Alright, Aerith, do your thing. Um, yes, um, Aerith's stick for attacking is mainly to wave her stick about as if it were a magic wand. Pretty much. If you were hoping to see Aerith actually whacking things with her stick, sorry to be dis to, sorry to disappoint you. Well, but, uh, you can whack things with your stick if you're close enough. True, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, but mainly a range attacker. Yeah. In fact, in fact, in fact, we literally saw. Map. In fact, we literally like, saw. Mean a character into rage was. In fact, we literally saw Dweeb's user to whack that hedgehog pie right on that last. Yeah, move. like uh, it's a, like if you actually get close enough to the enemy, just whack, just waving the the stick will also count as damage. So yeah, technically you can still whack enemies with your stick. It's just that the, it's just that it's much more practical to just uh, yeah. keep her as a long range. The game, that's what the game even encourages you. I'm mean, giving it to Aerith, uh, only to Aerith, uh, the option to just keep holding and to the press of the the square button instead of having to mash it all together, you know, to keep her cast. Out, why are you slashing those boxes? Well, the reason is because I'm checking for gear in them. Also, a long battle backstory that's... What? Also, a long battle backstory regarding my mother and father that you don't need to know about. Who came up with that backstory? Yeah, some British bloke guy. Kitaze and Ojima, maybe? No, 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 it was a British I, guy. I remember, uh -huh. remember the sad story of Cloud and, his, and Sephiroth being such an inconsiderate douchebag when he killed his parents. He didn't bother to um, move his, he didn't bother to gather his parents' ashes and some random schmuck put him in a box. But didn't tell Cloud which one, and now he's been slashing any box he could come across ever since. Oh, look at that. The train station is actually pretty close. Oh, I, may nice. have contradicted, I may have contradicted an oh. earlier detail, but yeah. these, these, Square Enix does it all the time, so. Huh. Oh, right, about that. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We get a great view of, um, the Undercity. Literally. Oh, didn't expect to see you here, huh? Um, yeah. Oh, on your way home from the church? That's... Let's get helicopter, please go in, trying to listen to this conversation. Something else hit the church. Yeah. Also, yeah, that's Rage Chaser, up, the yeah. NPC. They actually recognize his voice. Yeah, go up, go up. Your rear end, you'll find your hope. How do I keep running into this guy? He's a secret stalker. He loves Cloud too much. He wouldn't be the first or one. Or Aerith. Hey, but anyway. Oh. There's a new disc to buy, and I think I know this. Yep, it's, it's Casey's theme. theme. A more 
Jazzy remix to it. That's right. We're including Kate's this theme. But wait. Well, the 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 the, mm. the, the divine news include pretty much all around yeah. the character. Yeah. Oh, sorry, well, sorry, sorry everyone. I need to sit down. <laughs> not everyone. There's no remix of Seed's theme, as far as I checked. It's, okay, I'm there, I'm there now. It's like they fought ahead for a few parts in the soundtrack and thought, yeah, how can we put it all in here? Yeah, Amazu, Amazu is, is essentially, you know, put, doing the homework beforehand. Yeah, just so ready. Uh, helicopter. Oh, I wonder who's inside. Deck is all clear! Rope's good! Go! Why not just land? It's ruled. You're early. Big change because now... the first the first time you see him is in the Shinra building at the very end. We mentioned the one that I ran. Now he looks even more like um, Agent Forty Seven. He's got the suit. Yeah, he's he's very professional, sophisticated. Which is which is funny because Square don't own the Hitman IP. The the straight man to Reno's a wacky personality. It's he's voiced to... by. By William Christopher Stevens. It's going to be so funny seeing him not attack Tifa because he has a crush on her. Let's stick to the back streets. Ah, there will be monsters. Nice. Thanks. Thanks for letting us. <laughs> Basically, William Christopher Stevens has, only, has a relatively small resume and has appeared like as one episode only characters for a couple of series, uh, like the Mentalist. But uh, he voiced Jax. Uh, Jax in Mortal Kombat 11, so he's uh, ranking up. Anyway, back to this game. It is very refreshing to actually see Arab have some balance to her, though. As someone who's been, you know, getting more in with the Final Fantasy franchise, I can see how it would have been annoying to people who actually remembered how the original Aerith was to have her be. Nothing but pure dainty, not even really that much of a fighter, mind you. When, let's not forget in the original game... Uh, I would have, I would as for someone who literally grew up, I would have been fine either way. It's in, it's a situation where Aerith was capable of defending, but you get the idea why she needed to be pure, pure of art in that kind of sense, uh, in order to, for her to be the last person of the set, one that needed to be cast wholly uh, from the live stream. Um, it gave you the idea that, that uh, while she, she had, this kind of attitude. She wasn't perfect. She had a lot of responsibility on her shoulder and she understood who she was and what the world would have looked at her. That, that's the thing though. It's like, well, when you get down to it though, you kind of just make her Jesus when you make her just pure well, in nature and in everything. In a way, she kind of is. That, that's yeah. the thing. That's a, the, the thing is, you know what she kind of is? She, well, is, okay. she is a messiah archetype. True, 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 true. My point is like, well, I can see why people were kind of annoyed when they made her just pure and nothing else, though. So, just, was kind so of the many... issue. Like, <laughs> like okay. Um, these, these, these ruins are all the times that that previous players have played through this game. Did, did, did All they, the scraps did, go here. Did we film the Gundam episode in this place? Oh, Jesus. Maybe. But anyway, back to it though. The issue of making Air of Pure nothing else was, well, okay. Wait, if for those who actually have read the Bible, you'll find out that Jesus Christ, believe it or not, actually does have a bout of character development to where he becomes the saint that everyone knows him for. When you make Air of Nothing but Pure, you kind of make her just pure for almost no reason. Granted, yeah, there's the whole Setra thing, but it wasn't really that interesting. It didn't help that she really didn't get that much screen time in Advent Children. Well, I mean, well, well, I mean, I mean, she's a better, she's, I mean, she's a better Jesus than the Jesus in the Ben-Hur remake. I I've not seen, seen that yet. movie. That's um, Jesus, Je Jesus in that film is played by the same actor Rodrigo Santoro, who plays uh, um, Xerxes in 300. Huh. I mean, huh. I, 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 and I, I'm, not, I'm not blaming the actor. It's just Jesus only has like two scenes where he um, gives he gives some water to the main character, and where he's about to be crucified. crucified. Well, that was like that also for the original. Well, Dwebs, let's face it. Uh, you and I both know there's only one Jesus actor. Let's face it. <laughs> Jared Leto. Jim Caviezel. I do not well, understand. Well, well, 
Bob or Pedro, I don't think Jim Caviezel himself will be happy about that fact. True, true, true. Well, he, he does joke about it himself, does. He has embraced the joke. And... Must so, be an Caviezel old joke. Jesus. I've never heard of that one. Well, well, that's a thing, Joe. But right? it, he was Jesus in the yeah. you know. Um, the movie. And that was like his only prominent Hollywood role. After that, he became a TV actor. However, when he when he became popular again, thanks to Person of Interest, because he's the main character in that. Um, a lot of people like on the internet like to just oh, oh my god this guy can kick someone's chest and he, and he's always uh, at the right time and everybody kept saying well he is Jesus so ah he, he okay was, so and and he himself eventually at Comic Con just started you know going along with the joke even and like a, basically he embraced the, the thing in a that's nice uh, okay I have not seen Passion of the Christ so I did not know that it don't, it's it's horrible like it, it doesn't even have to do with the fact that it's a, a Jesus movie like it's a, as a movie in general, it just sucks balls. Even in general, it's boring at best. If it's, you had it's literally nothing but physical abuse for two hours. That's all it is, basically. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's well, um, porn. well, in terms of mediocre movies Jim Caviezel has been in, there was also Escape Plan. I, I think I heard that. that. Well, me neither, but from what I've heard of it, it's a movie that somehow has Stallone and Schwarzenegger in it, and it's, and it's not awesome. How do you even do that? Um, actually, I'm uh, double checking check in the meantime. I'm actually that curious. Oh, and it has 50 Cent in it for some reason. <laughs> Remember when 50 Cent was pushed to be an? Well, mm -hmm. apparently, apparently, at least as of recently as twenty, giving it a good go. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Sam Neill's in it too, because. Um... Well, see, well, Sam, Sam Neill needs to find roles after Jurassic and, and Park. Vinny, much. Vinny Jones? And Vincent D'Onofrio. Interesting. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. How did I, how did I hear here? that much after this movie? Okay, for context, here in, here in Britain, um, Vinny Jones is playing, um, oh, for, for being a professional footballer for Wimbledon. Who was known for being rather aggressive in his style of play? Oh, I also, and also the, mo the the best film I've seen him in is Snap. Because AK, a film we're going to have to redo at some point. Snatch, you mean? Yes, yeah, Snatch. Yeah. Oh, didn't we upload that commentary? Well, yeah, uh, I bought some technical flaws. In it. Actually, no, Joe Dweebs. Uh, I did. Uh, I did. Render I mean, there were there were a few spikes in the audio I heard. Yeah, well, but still, it was it. I get you, but you mean that it was done a long time ago, so you want to do a generation still. Yeah. Plus, 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 um, plus don't maybe include, the original like this, but plus maybe include Shiro in it if she's interested. Shiro was in the original. No, I don't, I don't think she I was. Thought... No. Pretty sure she was actually. Let me check. No, I don't. I don't recall. No, she wasn't. Okay then. I just... Okay then, but what you're asking for then is a Generations commentary. It's not like we have to do away with the old one since that's already uploaded anyway. I guess. Oh wait. Oh, oh wait, wait. They 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 made they've made two more Escape Plan movies after that. What sure, company was behind that uh, anyway? Escape Plan Lionsgate. Oh, bad experience. The second one had um had um. Had Schwarzenegger being replaced by Batista, and uh, the third um, has well also Batista in it. I, I, I didn't even know there was a third one. That's why I heard about it. I saw the trailer for the third movie last year. It was direct to video. Yeah. With a limited, with a limited theatrical release. And boom, the gates open. Yeah. Speaking of VC instead. Uh, I actually really like this particular mix of the slum theme that you get in Sector 5. It's almost identical in a kind of way. Okay, so this is the part of the game where some people do raise some concerns with the pacing here. Me personally, I like that they're adding on more, but some people aren't too keen on them adding a bit more padding overall to the scene where you get to Aerith's house here and there. Honestly, it's, to me it's fine. The my real concern is what I mentioned before in a previous part. The fact that the slums have been built as to be so covered by the upper plate that uh, it's there's no real natural sunlight even in the day, and yet here we are. Yeah, like, I mean... Well, I'll well, tell you, if you look up in the game, 
uh, you'll know, th th you'll see that th they're actually in the, on the edge of uh, of the um, of the plate. So basically, oh, whenever dear. you're back, whenever you're back in this place, tail, use the camera to look up, and you can. No, see... no, I noticed. I noticed that. Is but remember, even in the original, even Eric made the point and said that uh, I haven't seen the sun, the natural sunlight, in a long time. I don't remember how it is. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was um, that was a short part, but it, but mainly its, its purpose was to get the hell out of Dodge. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll see you for a more meteor part where we uh, get to know Eric a little bit more. Yeah. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.